Fightless Sloth here, still can't fly, and today we are back in Subnautica. We're gonna explore that. <laughs> Wait, what's my inventory like? Yes. We're gonna explore it once we go up this mountain and get some stuff. Yeah, that's a good intro. Oh shit, that's a drop! Alright, I've decided we're actually gonna go up that mountain after this. Because I realized. This structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Hmm. Well, I could do my own analysis. It thick! Oh, right, I forgot to do this. Hold on. <clears throat> we have a couple of these. Ampiel! From last episode. A powerful and. What the? Did you guys see that on the right side of the screen? A powerful and inquisitive predator found inhabiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bull bush colonies. Electrical prongs. Torso mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current which the ampule uses to captivate its prey. Jaws. A large flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth. If a faster, stronger, and hungrier predator lives on the reefs, it appears to avoid the ampule. Assessment. Avoid or incapacitate. Oh, I... I, uh... I, I tangled with it. The biter. Which is basically a piranha. Vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle. 4% connective tissue. 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry. Aw, oh, good for you. Always thinking ahead. Almost always hungry. Specialized olfactory antenna. Employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water as impressive range. Ah, impressive range. Secondary pair of eyes, likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral, peripheral movement of larger predators and hungry members of its own species. Overdeveloped tail fin. Favors out pacing and outnumbering their prey over individual maneuverability. Calculation suggests creatures up to 100 times the biter's body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. Assessment. Avoid packs. Try not to bleed. What's this? Is this a paper scan? Okay. You guys could read this. Oh, it's a high calorie count. Uh oh. Better not eat too many of those. Do I have anything? Okay. Oh. Okay, you could pause and read this. Okay. Aliens. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it's not possible to translate any useful information. However, the scans have turned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. <clears throat> it is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment, further research required. Yes. I will do my forms of research. Ooh! I'm gonna scan you first. Ah! This is basically a nuclear... Yeah, this green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table. An unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within. It's likely grown artificially. Cube experience suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Don't drop it. Under the right conditions, energy can be released in a controlled manner. Likely uses batteries to require substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. Yes. I will use these to make batteries. 
and hopefully not explode in the process. Analysis of the patterns of the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Hold on, I'm too busy stealing their batteries and shit. They probably don't need it. Unknown language. Attempting translation. <clears throat> A lot of reading today. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. This, the facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal al amalgam synth synthesized from off-world materials. There's no negation that can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Uh, about that, uh, that, that's important for later. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. Location is not listed, but there's evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. This fa the facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via the security-sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Nah, I'm sure I'll find a way. Hey, you guys need more batteries I can steal? Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. This dude's brave. I wouldn't walk. I would think this elevator shaft, if I jumped, I would die. He's he's brave going down here. You don't know. Oh. Well, here's that moon pole they were mentioning. Yeah, you know, I like to be dry for a little longer. That was my first taste of water in this whole entire episode. Okay. I'm gonna steal your alien rifle. <laughs> alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid, or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is they consider defending the facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Dang it! I need it. I want it. I'm gonna steal more batteries. <laughs> we'll go upstairs real quick in a moment. Ah, I don't have. Oh. <clears throat> I'll basically read this. Uh, okay. This structure is ten purposes unclear. Theories on function. Ceremonial, ceremonial or religious roles, I can't read. Industrial applications, advanced transportation network. Further research is required. Cool. Everything. I need more research. I need to drink some water before I regret it later. Good enough. All right, let's steal more stuff. I suddenly became a kleptomaniac here. Um... Ah. I'm going to steal that. Thank you very much. Ooh. Doomsday device. <laughs> just a just a casual doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. But that still means if that one is malfunctioned, what's to say the others? You know? There has to be more, unless there's only one made, and they're like, nah. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good. What doorway? I can't be stopped by doors. Oh. 
Uh, I'm gonna turn you off. I'm gonna scan you first. I'm gonna scan everything you got. There is no escape. You can read that if you like. Oh wait, hold on. Power is rooted via attached thermal uh, terminal, allowing device speed to activate necessary. Yeah, let's deactivate it. No. Oh no. Hey. Hey. Oh, I have my flu shot. Ow. a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Just like Earth! We too are stuck in quarantine. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. <laughs> oh. Alien, okay. I don't think this is it. Yeah, that's just Stasis, stasis Rifle. Uh, where's the scan? Okay. Alien Facility Locations. Okay, so the Z's Research Facility, 800 meters down. Cave system with extensive fossil record southwest of Enforcement Platform. Function, Life Specimen Study, Objective Synthesis of Ando for Highly Infectious Bacterium Design, Karar. Kara, I'm sorry. Thermal power facility. 1,200 meters. Location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Function, generate energy for all local facilities. Uh, a lot of sanctuaries and everything's offline. And the primary containment facility is offline. In the event of an outbreak quarantine, procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent spread of infection off-world. Well, ain't that peachy. And y'all are complaining you want a haircut. Alright. Don't do it. <laughs> cool. Now we get to... Also, I'm pretty sure you were able to use... Wait. Oh, I know what it's... I, I know. Okay. Let us go up the mountain. And then my craziness will not sound nearly as... This might be dumb. I'm saved. I just need a taste. Oh. I probably I'll die. Whoa! No, 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 no. I'm not that stupid. No, no, no. Let's just let's just not be that guy. All right. I also need to get a reinforced dive suit. Now I remember. I saw the nuclear symbol on my pant leg, and clearly I don't need that anymore because I fixed it. Because I'm a genius. <laughs> When I stole all their batteries, I can escape this place without any problems. Huh? Yeah. Huh? It's such a pretty game, that's for sure. But man, this took up a good chunk of the episode already. <laughs> Again, it's pretty! Alright, so I have... What I, what I truly need... Oh, is that one of them? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. I need, oh so badly, a, um... I need fragments. What the? Your eyes are not open. Whatever. I'm just gonna swim away like I acting like I did not miss. There we go. Okay, I need engine. Before I leave, I need engine fragments. 
for the Cyclops. Uh, okay, so there's the floating islands I saw back in an episode ago, I believe. So they're not going to be here. They're going to be... I love Bone Shark. They're going to be kind of spread around here. I'm going to pretend that was a... Oh, yes. I'm not being followed, am I? Okay, so, oh, okay I heard that Bone Shark. Alright, I think I need one more after this. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, don't mind if I take that. Is there any more uh, tablets down here? You see, this is, this is why I'm exploring. That's probably going to come in. I don't have to make... If I find enough of these, I won't have to make them. Oh, and my, I have been rewarded. I have been rewarded. See? Where's my... Okay, it's down there. I got rewarded for exploring. One more thing before I go. I need... Uh, Magnum tight. We're just gonna quickly, uh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm still in near the. Fl okay. I'm trying to get to. Ow. I think this is it over here. Volcanic spires. Oh, is that another nuclear? Oh yeah. Oh, I wish I had my helmet. Is that all I needed for that? Oh, one more. I personally don't really use the um, ah, magnetite. How much? What inventory? Perfect. I personally don't use. Um, the nuclear power plant as much. I might make it in this one because I want to try new things, you know. I usually just have the bioreactor and say good to go. But a thermal would be really nice. Ow! It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Hot like Mama June on a Thursday. Whatever the saying is. If it's a saying. Ow! The more magnetite, the better. I want to be... Ugh, don't do it. Let's see, where we're at. Oh, beautiful. Let's... While we're here, let's just fill it up. What's that? Is that part of the engine? Ow. Okay, that is the engine. Uh... Is there any more? See, I know there's a big wreck down there somewhere. Problem is, though, I don't have, um... I need to get the Mark II Cyclops, uh, thing. See him off. What's that? Is that my last... Ah! Oh! Hi. Scanning. <laughs> okay. I see one. I'm probably going to start burning up again. Ow. Oh. I see you. Alright, get it! Stop burning! I basically have enough. Is the wreck down here? 
I know there's a wreck down here somewhere. I don't want to startle... Okay, I thought I was down here. I'm just gonna back away. Oh! Where's the wreck? Oh! Uh, you don't see me, do you? I don't know where that wreck is. All right, let's get out of here. We're going. We're leaving. See ya. Oh, did I, did I get the nuclear reactor? Hold on. What? Oh, oh, you're a lot closer than I thought you were. Oh! Oh! That was it? <coughs> oh! Oh my god! I did not know he swam so close to me! Jeez. You gotta be very careful around these parts, too. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Oh, I heard... Ow. I heard a warper too. Okay. Where's the warper at? Okay, he's down there. He doesn't care about me. Oh, wow, magnetite. I think my thing's completely full anyways. Oh, God. Just don't worry about me. Oh. Oh. Swim up. God. Hey, we made it out. Future flightless sloth here, and I forgot to go up the mountain. In my timeline, we're on episode 11 and have not... Uh... That doesn't look right. Anyways... We were, in my timeline, we're on episode 11, and as I was editing episode 9, I realized I forgot to go up the mountain, because my pants were full of doo-doo. So let us go up this mountain together, and then I'll go back into the future, and you can reside with the normal, present-day sloth. Uh, there's nothing up there, if I remember. Let's, let's go this way. Yes! This is what I wanted. Yes! Woo! Let's just, uh, yeah, look at it and, uh, touch? I was a little delayed on that one, but... <laughs> Woo! Man, what a ride. Where's the exit? I haven't been here in a while either. Actually, this has been a very, very long time. <laughs> Welcome back to the first island of the game. You know, I'm surprised they couldn't refine this again. I'm usually rather good at it. Man. 
Yep. Seamoth all the way over there. Well, I ain't gonna swim that, so I'm going back in. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys that because I was dumb and I forgot. Oh, can I land on this? Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could do that. Ow, first off my legs. But, ugh. No. Ah, you found, you, death. Ho. All right, present day sloth, here we go. Whoop! Huh. Well, I shit myself. <laughs> I know, I know, I should really kind of embrace one of them. Because I feel like I'm kind of cheating you guys out of stuff, but I'm not going to force myself to go in there. That's just kind of, you know, well, forceful, not as legit. I will go into a specific area soon. Um... That has a bunch of them, probably. But... I don't know, you know? I'm not gonna force it. You got it! Where's my... Okay. I don't need my knife. Battery, no. Propulsion, I have. Oh, here we go. Cool, it's something I already have. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Um, is there anything here? Cool, this wreck was worthless. Was there anything else? Uh, nothing. I guess, I guess it's telling me earlier I could scan something. What does it want me to scan? Okay. Uh. Alright, looks like I have everything in this wreck. So that was a waste of my time. And your time, especially. Okay, moving on. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, it's... Okay, I already have that. Got it, got it, got it. Hello, Reef Bax. So that was quite an episode. <laughs> I felt like I was going to have an episode. <laughs> at the, like, it was... Ah, uh, whew. Don't know where my oh well there's the poles. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. I almost uh wait my oh my power. Uh, I have to drop a bunch of stuff. Eh. All this beautiful. Uh, I'll put this in here for now. Gold. Okay, just for now. Uh, I, there's more water, so I don't feel as bad to drink that. Alright, what's going on? Oh, that's... yeah. I need... I need poop. And I'm not joking around. I'm not crazy. You'll understand me later. Keep calm. Jesus. Oh, I have another one? Oh, yeah, give me those. <laughs> Alright. Game keeps freezing. I don't know why it keeps freezing up like that. Here, let me take this out. I really have enough lithium. 
All right, what does this say? This is Life Pod Four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've I'm got pretty sure I did this. Us, I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Um. Let me double check. Oh wait, why do I have these in here? Whatever. But I'm pretty sure I already did that. Kind of behind. Oh, battery. Oop. Just unload. Is there anything else it needs? Eh, that's basically about it. Let me switch these batteries. Equipped, equipped. Perfect. Cool. I'm gonna throw these into here. Perfect. I have way too many batteries. <laughs> Alright, I should have honestly, um That was kinda my fault. I should oh here. Uh where's my knife? Take you. I'm gonna fill this up as much as I can. Oh, that's gonna annoy me. I'm missing one. Wait, what? I just. Oops! Sorry. Um. I don't need two of you. There. Yeah. Look at it. So cute. Looks like the rest of it. Uh, I don't need you. So yeah, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode. Let me get a couple of these for later. Yep, and I'm gonna take one of those. In the next episode, uh, we will do something else. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in a whole other video. Stay slothy. Bye!